Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. With reference to the Collective Security Treaty, consider the following statements. It is an intergovernmental military alliance of post-Soviet states. It is referred to as Tashkent Pact. So we have to select the not correct statement. Basically both of them are correct. The correct answer is neither one nor two. Option D is the correct answer. So recently, Kazakhstan's president called on the Collective Security Treaty Organization to help in managing the ongoing protests that were there in the country. Now, it is an intergovernmental military alliance, the CSTO, and it came into effect on 2002, in the year 2002, although it was signed on 15 May 1992. And it was signed between the post-Soviet states belonging to the Commonwealth of Independent States, namely Russia, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Now, this is also referred to as the Tashkent Pact or Tashkent Treaty. Moving on, consider the following statements. National Youth Day is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. The National Youth Festival is organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. So, we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. National Youth Day is held every year on 12th January to observe the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. And the day is also referred to as Swami Vivekanand Jayanti and was designated as the National Youth Day in 1984. Celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekanand, the National Youth Festival is an annual gathering of youth with various activities including competitive ones. It is organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India in collaboration with one of the state governments. Moving on, consider the following statements about Henley Passport Index 2021. So, it ranks the passports of several countries according to the number of destinations their holders can access without a prior visa. Germany and South Korea were the best and worst performers respectively. So, we have to select the correct statement. First is correct, second is not. Option A is the correct answer. The Henley Passport Index is the original ranking of all the world's passports according to the number of destinations their holders can access without a prior visa. It was launched in 2006 and includes 199 different passports. India's passport power has improved this quarter compared to 2021. It now ranks at 83rd position in the Henley Passport Index. The current rankings are for the first quarter of 2022 and India shares the position with Sao Tome and Principe in Central Africa that is behind Rwanda and Uganda. So Japan and Singapore have topped the index. Moving on. Consider the following statements. India is the founding member of GATT, General Agreements on Trade and Tariff, and its successor WTO. The Uruguay round of the GATT led to the WTO's creation and Iran is a member of WTO. We have to select the correct statement. First is correct. Second is correct. Third is not because Iran is an observer. B is the correct answer. The Indian government has filed an appeal in the World Trade Organization's appellate body against a ruling on sugar export subsidies. The ruling stated that New Delhi's domestic support measures for sugar and sugar cane are inconsistent with global trade norms. WTO is an international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations. It is a successor to the General Agreements on Tariffs and Trade, which was created in 1947. So earlier I mistakenly said General Agreement on Trade and Tariffs. It is actually General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Really sorry for that. The Uruguay round of the GATT led to the WTO's creation. WTO began operations on 1st January 1995. The WTO has 164 members which includes European Union and 23 observer governments like Iran, Iraq, Bhutan, Libya. India is a founder member of the 1947 GATT and its successor, the WTO. Consider the following statements. The World Economic Forum is a Denmark-based non-profit foundation established in 1971. Global Gender Gap Report is published by WEF. We have to select the correct statement. Now, first statement is incorrect because WEF is based in Switzerland, not Denmark. Second is correct. The correct answer is option B. A poll of nearly 1,000 business government and academic leaders found that only 1 in 10 World Economic Forum members surveyed expects uh, the global recovery to accelerate over the next three years. WEF is a Swiss non-profit foundation established in 1971 which is based in Geneva, Switzerland. Recognized by the Swiss authorities as an international institution for public-private cooperation. Some major reports by WEF are Energy Transition Index, Global Competitiveness Report, Global Gender Gap Report, Global Risk Report, Global Travel and Tourism Report. Now, moving on to the next question, consider the following pairs. 
एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव टू मैच द विद कंट्री ऑफ ओरिजिन आई एन एस विराट विद यू के आई एन एस विक्रमादित्य विद रशिया एंड आई एन एस विक्रांत यूएस वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट द पेयर विच इज ऑन आर करेक्टली मैच फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर करेक्टली मैच थर्ड इज नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए आई एन एस विराट डी कमीशन नाउ विक्रांत वॉज फॉलोड बाय द सेंटोर क्लास कैरियर एच एम एस एम एस from the uk which was rechristened in india as ins virat and served in the indian navy from 1987 to 2016 vikramaditya is the indian navy's largest aircraft carrier and warship converted from the russian navy's decommissioned admiral gorshkov paku ins vikramaditya is a modified kiev class aircraft carrier that was commissioned into service in november 2013 INS Vikrant which is now decommissioned beginning the INS Vikrant which served India from 1961 to 1997 India acquired the Vikrant from the UK in 1961 and the carrier played a stellar role in the 1971 war with Pakistan that led to the birth of Bangladesh in 2014 INS Vikrant was broken down in Mumbai moving on with respect to UNESCO's world heritage center consider the following statement It was established in 1992 to coordinate within UNESCO for all matters related to world heritage. It is responsible for site nominations and reporting on the condition of sites only. So we have to select the correct statement. First is correct, second is not. Because although we have a big clue here the word only is used, apart from that it is also responsible for many other things and also the funding of the site. So first is correct option is the correct answer. UNESCO's World Heritage Center has agreed to publish Hindi descriptions of India's UNESCO World Heritage Site on its website. World Heritage Center of UNESCO was established in 1992 and it is the focal point and coordinator within UNESCO for all matters related to world heritage. Ensures the day-to-day -day management of the convention, the center organizes the annual sessions of the World Heritage Committee and its bureau, provides advice to the state parties in the preparation of site nominations. organizes international assistance from the world heritage fund upon request and coordinates both the reporting on the condition of the site and the emergency action undertaken when a site is threatened it organizes technical seminars and workshop updates the world heritage list and database accordingly develops teaching material to raise awareness among the young people of for the need of heritage preservation and also keeps the eye on the public informed about the world heritage issues noted literature Manglu Charan Biswal passed away recently. He achieved laurels for his work in which of the following languages? The correct answer to this question is option D. He recently passed away. And noted Odia literature and veteran teacher Manglu Charan Biswal passed away on 11th January 2022 following prolonged illness. He breathed his last at his residence in Bada Dungri under Maneswar block in Sambalpur district and he was 87. He was born on May 4th, 1935 at Pitapalli village which got submerged after the construction of the Hirakur dam. His major literary works include Darya Parira Kavita, Astara Gara Kabi, Di Dhara Luha, Agni Sambhava and Ananya. And the prolific writer's Bhukha was later adopted into an award winning film. It was adapted into an award winning film and that is why it's very important to know about him. With respect to the Dogra dynasty, consider the following statements. They basically belong to the Sikh clan. Maharaja Gulab Singh expanded his kingdom by conquering Kashmir during the first Anglo-Sikh war. So we have to select the correct statement. Both of them are incorrect. The correct answer is option D. Why? Because they belong to the Rajput clan, and Maharaja Gulab Singh was actually awarded Kashmir in lieu of cash payment. So D is the correct answer. The Jammu and Kashmir administration has set up a committee to look into the demands for a public holiday on the birth anniversary of Maharaja Hari Singh the last Dogra ruler of the erstwhile princely state Dogra dynasty Rajput clan or group of clans in the Kashmir region of the northwestern indian subcontinent they are they form the chief or mia portions of rajputs of the territory centered on jammu lying northwest of what is now lahore in pakistan roughly between chenab and ravi rivers they attained prominence in the 19th century and they had long been a small state of jammu but after 1780 it became tributary to the sikhs gulab singh distinguished himself in the service of the sikhs and was made raja of jammu in 1820 which was the beginning of the dogra dynasty he expanded to the north and extending ladakh and baltistan regions in the first sikh war singh held aloof maharaja gulab singh held aloof and then appeared as a mediator 
and as a reward kashmir which was annexed by the sikhs in 1819 was given to him by the british for a cash payment in 1947 hari singh the great grandson of gulab singh faced with an incursion of pashtuns from pakistan acceded to union with india and this territory became the indian state of jammu and kashmir moving on consider the following statements with respect to swine fever it is not a threat to human health and cannot be transmitted from pigs to humans and it is a huge food safety issue so we have to select the correct statement first is correct second is not because it's not a food safety issue option a is the correct answer now thai authorities said that the african swine fever had been detected in the surface swab samples collected at slaughterhouse in nakhon pathom province marking the country's first official confirmation of the disease african swine fever is highly contagious and deadly viral disease affecting both domestic and feral swines of all ages it is not a threat to human health and cannot be transmitted from pigs to humans and it is not a food safety issue now asf is found in countries around the world now recently it has spread to thailand dominican republic and haiti asf has also spread through china mongolia vietnam as well as within parts of european union the darwaza gas crater also known as the door to hell has been in the news recently consider the following statements It originated when the Soviet scientists set it on fire to burn off noxious gases after the ground under a drilling rig gave away. Now it is a giant natural gas crater in the middle of the Karakum Desert. So we have to select the correct answer. Both of the statements are correct. Option C is the correct answer. Turkmenistan President Gurbanguly Berdimukhamedov has ordered experts to find a way to extinguish a fire in the huge natural gas crater. The Darwaza gas crater, also known as the Gateway to Hell or Door to Hell, it is a giant natural gas crater in the middle of the Karakum Desert, about 260 kilometers north of Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan. The crater was created in 1971 during a Soviet drilling accident that hit a gas cavern, causing the drilling rig to fall in and the earth to collapse underneath it. The Soviets decided to burn off the gas by setting it on fire to prevent the dangerous fumes from spreading. and unfortunately tapping into a vast natural reservoirs of flammable methane gas the pit has been burning since then even growing in size over time officially named the shining of karakum the crater is also known as the darwaza crater after the nearby village of darwaza and online as the door to hell or gates of hell thanks to the boiling mud and roaring red flames covering the crater floor moving on to the practice question for the next segment which of the following is not an indian government's initiative related to overseas indian pravasi kaushal vikas yojana vajra strive no india program so kindly answer it correctly in the comment segment that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching